Hey guys, this is Joe with Cadillac Cookers. Um, we are actually seasoning a smoker for a customer, uh, Fred Small, with Fred Small Time Barbecue. Um, I decided to do a little video so I could show you guys our new uh, fully automatic gas system. Uh, really works fantastic. Really, really easy to use. Uh, just put your meat in the smoker, fire it up, and come back and take it off when it's done. I'm going to walk around the back here. I've actually got some wood in it. I started it up about 10 minutes ago. Um, we've got some wood in it right now. There's the controller that controls your gas system. The on off switch. I'm going to open the firebox door. The gas system is fixing to kick on again now. To bring the tent back up, we've got some wood in there. And there you can see the gas system automatically kick on. It'll automatically light your wood and keep your smoke going. Real, real simple to use. We got a bunch of guys in the shop building smokers right now. going to be kind of noisy so just bear with me. This is the fully automatic gas system. Uh, it's contained in this lid. There it is. It's a gas combustion burner system. It'll work for natural gas or LP which I'm using now. It'll, whatever temperature you set your smoker to, it'll automatically run uh, your smoker to that temperature. It'll shut off and then when your unit drops three degrees, it'll automatically kick back on and bring it back up to temperature. I just got the gas bottle sitting outside this unit. The gas bottles usually go in the gas bottle carrier here in the front. Uh, these are the gas control valves for the burners you can see here. And there's another burner over here. This unit's equipped with a big barbecue grill on the front. Really, really heavy duty. kind of open it up so you can see inside. It doesn't have the fire grates in the top, but this is a really heavy, heavy duty unit. Has a slide out ash pan. This one has a folding front shelf. This front shelf uh, actually folds down. There's a spring loaded clamp right in here. All I do is slide it back. Let's do it again. Slide it back out of the way. There we go. Fold it down. There's another clamp here that'll actually hold it in place. And then the shell's folded down ready for transport. I'm going to fold the shelf back up. Real simple to do. Pull your pin over, light it up, and there it is. Full length shelf for your barbecue grill, it runs all the way down your smoke. I want to open this unit up so you can see inside what's going on. We sprayed the unit down with oil. Uh, you can see the wood burning in the back, I'll open the other door here. See the wood actually burning in the back, producing the smoke. I open the door so that burner should kick right back on here. There it is. Hope you hear it. You can see it back there going. There it is. We're going to see this uh, season this unit for about uh, three to four hours. Uh, the racks will actually turn up. A golden yellow type of color, and once that's achieved, you're pretty much done.
our units uh, run a little different than most people's. Our units run at 1.8 revolutions per minute, where our competitors run at 1 RPM. What the 1.8 does is it allows your, your meat to pass your firebox faster, so you're not going to have any scoring on the back. You will never need to reposition any meat. And it also moves your, once you got meat in there, it'll actually move the smoke and move the heat in a tunnel formation. So when you open the doors, when you really got the smoke in there, you can, as soon as you open that door, you can actually see the, the smoke in a tunnel. It'll be moving in a circular motion. So it's really, really good. That's why we produce the best smoke and the most even temperatures in the rotisserie smoker market. I'm going to go ahead and close this thing up. As you can see, we're seasoning this unit 250 degrees. It's going to sit there, it's not going to move. You can walk off for six hours and it's still going to be 250 degrees. But as far as seasoning your smoker goes, I'll kind of start with you from the beginning. All you do is open your front doors, get you some, we like to use, uh, we can use Pam Original Cooking Spray, you can use oil and spray it in with a sprayer uh, just whatever you'd like to use the whole whole idea behind it is just to get the smoke and the oil penetrating the steel uh, of your smoker the first time you fire it up uh, this keeps your keeps your uh, unit from sticking uh, meat sticking to your racks and it also anything that touches your racks from that point on will have that smoke taste in the skin so it really 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 is something that has to be done right when you get your smoker it's the first thing This is your damper handle uh, on the rear. We open it just a little bit when we're using our gas system. You don't have to, but we do. Um, you also, if you don't want to use gas, you can turn your gas switch off and just use this, this combustion system for air. So when your unit calls for you, what you do is you light your, your coals and light your wood, get it burning, close your doors, turn your uh, temperature onto the desired temperature you want it to be at right here on the controller. Once you've done that, the unit will automatically turn on, shoot air to your coals and wood, give them the air they need to get your smoker to the temperature that you want it to be, and it'll shut off just like it would if it had gas on, but it's just using the air part of the system. So it's basically an air uh, convection system. Not necessarily convection, but it's an air system that'll, you can still use it in competition, that's what we do. You know, in competition you can't use gas in the KCBS. Uh, so we'll use the air convection system, which is legal. This unit has a spare tire, barbecue grill, fully automatic gas combustion system, and a two burner stove. Really, really nice. Everything a guy needs to make money catering. I'm going to go ahead and shut this video down. Uh, if you have any questions, just call our office. We'll do everything we can to help you. And answer your questions. We can build any barbecue smoker to meet your needs. Uh, no matter what, no matter what the, uh, uh, no matter what it calls for. So, give us a call. Thanks.